Okay, this is a brief introduction to using Tanita Quiz Builder. Uh, Tanita Quiz Builder is a flash authoring tool that enables you to quickly and easily generate flash based quizzes uh, to incorporate on your website. The version of Tanita Quiz Builder I'm using here is actually version 1.3, which is slightly old now. The new version available from the Tanita website is version 2. So if you download it, a trial version to use, uh, be aware that it is slightly different. But the principles are pretty much the same. If you learn to use this, watch this video, you'll, you'll get an idea of how the new version works as well. So to begin, once you launch Quiz Builder, you'll have this, this dialogue interface giving you the option to open an existing quiz to create a new one or to a little history of your recent quizzes. So create a new quiz and we get the blank authoring window like this. In order to create a quiz question you simply click the green plus sign and you'll see there's a range of different question types and I'll introduce you to these now. The true false, you click it, there you get a question and two possible answers of which only one is correct. Now the default is true false but you don't have to write a true false question as I'll show you. But let's do a true false question first, the statement. And now what you can do with questions as well, you can add a thing called a scenario which is a bit like adding uh, an instruction. So let's say um, decide whether the following is true or false. Okay. So and then the question can be the past simple of go is went. Okay, is that true or false? Okay, it's true. And you click the answer that is the correct one and the one that the student should click when they answer the question in order to get it right. Over on the right hand side, there's a feedback dialogue. You click the word feedback and you can modify the feedback that the student gets. In this case, if they get it right, it says correct. But you can change this to something slightly friendlier, such as yes, well, well done. The past simple of go is went. Okay. So to reiterate and reinforce the information, incorrect is a little bit unfriendly. So maybe you could say uh, sorry. That's not right. Uh, okay, or whatever. And then number of attempts, in this case it's true or false, you can set how many tries at answering the question the student can have. In a true-false question you only need one because it's either true or false. Okay, let's add, well we can actually change the answer words in fact, so we could say Instead of saying the past simple of go is went, let's just delete the scenario for a minute. So click. All right. So what we'll say instead is um, what is the past simple form of go? Okay. Question mark. And instead of true, we can have went and gone. Okay. Now went is the correct answer. So it doesn't have to be true or false, it can be a simple binary question type. Add a single answer. Now this time, single answers is where we pr you can present more than two choices in the answers, but only one of which can be correct. So let's say, um, uh, okay, well let's try a, a, a scenario, okay? So for the scenario you could say, um, choose the best word to complete 
this sentence. Okay, and the sentence could be a past simple. Let's keep it in the past simple. So last week and I blank 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 blank. And you just do that by pressing shift and the underscore on your keyboard to the cinema. Okay. Now we can put in our choices by pressing carriage return. So last week I gone is not correct. Went is correct and been. Okay. So uh, now it capitalizes your answers by default so you can uncapitalize them. Now remember you have to choose the one that is correct. Again the feedback, I'm not going to modify the feedback for this one but it's good practice to include informative feedback for your learners to help them learn from the exercise if they get it correct or if they don't get it correct. So let's just for example in here say that um, correct remember the past participles of go are gone and been. Okay. How many attempts on this one? Well let's give them two attempts, okay, because they could say gone and then have another stab. Okay, let's try a multiple answer question. And this time we'll also add a scenario. Choose the best word. So this time let's take this, copy and paste, choose the best. Okay, or well perhaps we should say which of the following words best complete this sentence okay question mark and then let's make up a sentence so once upon a time uh, lived a Okay, just put a few underscores. Princess. Okay, so we could have um, a green princess, a red princess, a pretty princess, uh, a lonely princess, a beautiful princess. Okay, so pretty, lonely, and beautiful are correct. Red and green are not. Again. We can modify the feedback, and this time I'll give the student three attempts. Okay, you can go back and modify your questions later on uh, just by clicking in the question field. A word bank is where you drag an answer into position. So let's try this one again. Um, Let's try another scenario, okay. Oops, right click scenario. Oh shall I put it in the right place? Okay. Um no. Which of the following choose uh, best word to complete the sentence. Okay. And again we'll do another um, I haven't uh, seen him for ages. Okay. And in this case we've got C uh, saw seen seed. Okay, again let's make the words, the letters lowercase. Right. Uh, right here. And the correct answer is I haven't seen. Okay, um, and this one we also need to make the letters lowercase as well. Uh, and B. Okay, and very quickly, 
moving on. Oh, how many attempts at this one should we allow? Well, let's allow two attempts. Okay, uh, drag and drop matching. Okay, so match the uh, infinitives to their past forms. This is quite an easy question, but okay, so it's very quick. So uh, it's a very repetitive little quiz. But go went C saw B was okay. Eat. This is probably not a very good question. Let's do match the. Opposites. Okay. So go back to adjectives. I uh, say so nice and nasty. Okay. Uh, hot and cold. Pretty and ugly. Um, poor. and rich. Okay. Again, number of attempts. Okay, we'll give two attempts. And finally we'll do a very quick ordering question. So put the dia dialogue into the correct order. Okay, so we have our dialogue, so hello, how are you today? Oh, hi, I'm fine, thanks. And you? Not bad. All things considered. Okay, and again, let's just have a couple of attempts on that one. Okay, so when you're ready, you you can save your 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 quiz somewhere. So in this case, I'll put it on the desktop just uh, to, for for ease, really. Give it a title: test quiz. Okay. All right. You can also look at the properties of your quiz. So here we have the title. <coughs> You can set a time limit. We don't need to concern ourselves with the login dialog here. <coughs> you can modify the introductory information. Try my grammar quiz, for example. <coughs> uh, you don't have to include an introduction, but you can. Number of questions, all questions are going to be asked. We can randomize them. You don't need a 15 minute break. This allows you to include a 15 minute break, but that's probably not necessary. And submit one question at a time. The user will get feedback on each question as they submit them. Uh, reporting, we're not doing any reporting here. This would only be if the quiz is in a learning management system. Uh, and the output is going to be a flash, shockwave flash. You can produce executable EXE and documents but we want a flash file here and we'll save it to desktop okay so I'm going to you need to modify the location of where it's going to save okay and you can also customize the appearance of your quiz so this will open up and you can see what your quiz is going to look like and you can modify it here so you can change the colors the fonts you can change the style of the quiz, you can change the colour of the bar, you can decide whether you want audio and information, so if I close, take off audio, take off information, they disappear. Okay, and you can change these colours. So, once you've done that, you then press export, and your quiz will export to an HTML file and you can try it out like this, okay, and so on. <coughs>